you watch the What Even Is a Factorial video I did, you recognize this monster of a formula, which is obviously very exciting, as indicated by these exclamation marks. In that same video, you were introduced to the factorial operation. To take the factorial of a number, you essentially take the number, multiply by the number one less than it, multiply by the number one less than that, and so on and so on until you get to one. To fully understand this scary looking formula, you have to have a pretty good understanding of factorials. So I've linked that video here. We can use this formula to determine the number of ways r objects can be arranged from a total of n objects. This is what's called the permutation. We can define a permutation as an arrangement of n distinct items in a definite order. This definite order piece is key, and you'll see why in a minute. We read this n p r as n pick r. So imagine you have six people that are lining up for a photograph, and you want to find out how many different possible arrangements can be made with these six people. In order to determine if this new permutation formula is applicable here, we have to ask ourselves, does order matter? Well, let's think of one possible picture. Let's say you have mom, dad, sister, brother, grandma, and grandpa. To see if order matters in this scenario, let's ask ourselves, if mom and dad switch places, do I have the exact same identical picture? The answer is no. These two pictures are two different and distinct pictures. This suggests that changing the order of the people in the picture results in an entirely different picture, or simply put, order matters. Since order matters, we can apply the permutation formula using an n value of 6, the total number of people, with r also being 6, the number of people we're picking. If n and r are both 6, we end up with 0 factorial in the denominator. A quick note that 0 factorial is not equal to 0, and is counterintuitively equal to 1. <laughs> what? I know. That's a topic for another day and another video. You'll see that this simplifies into 6 factorial, or 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. This solution is consistent with the solution to this problem that uses logic instead of the formula. We know that there are 6 choices for the first spot in the photo, mom, dad, sister, brother, grandma, or grandpa. And after choosing the person for the first position, we have 5 choices available for the second. This will continue for positions 3 to 6, counting down from 4 to 1. Remember that 6 times 5 all the way down to 1 is just 6 factorial. So in this case, we selected all six people. But what would a scenario look like where we don't select all the possible people? Imagine you have 12 people on a swim team. Four of those people are going to be chosen to take part in a relay and will be racing in a given order. So order matters. In how many ways could the four swimmers be selected? Well, because we have 12 possible swimmers and we're picking four, we can set up our formula in this way. This simplifies into 12 factorial divided by 8 factorial. If I read out 12 times 11 times so on down to 1 and divide by 8 times 7 times so on down to 1, everything from 8 on will cancel in the numerator and the denominator, leaving me with 12 times 11 times 10 times 9. Using logic instead of the formula, it should make sense to have 12 options for the first position. Having chosen one person for the first position, I have 11 available for the second and so on until the fourth position. This should explain why dividing by 8 factorial here makes sense. If I didn't divide by 8 factorial, I'd be selecting all 12 swimmers. So we've looked at how the permutation or pick formula can be applied to determine the number of possible arrangements when order matters. So what about when order doesn't matter? What if I switch people, items, etc., and I don't get a separate distinct case? I've linked a video here that will answer that question. Now if this video helped in any way, like and subscribe for more mathematical chaos. And as usual, thanks for watching.